good evening everyone i am jayak mar and in this session i uh, will be discussing about how to do eod analysis and pair uh, of uh, stocks which you are going to do intraday in the next session so we'll be just uh, checking what the trend of the particular stock and based on that we'll be just uh, saying uh, what is the uh, uh, whether you can go long or short in the next session and uh, uh, we we can have levels like uh, whether the stock is uh, trading uh, above the uh, i'll be using just basically the moving averages and volumes so only these thing i'll be using and i'll be explaining you how to just uh, uh, make analysis for the uh, tomorrow session okay so first we will see about nifty okay so nifty trend as you have uh, known that the last one month it was trading in a very narrow range so the range was between 15900 and upside and uh, downside it was around 15600 and uh, today it has uh, closed above that range so if tomorrow how we can see based on the just a daily chart it's not a, a big indicators i am using i'm using only daily chart and moving averages i am using 21 day moving average this red line is 21 day moving average and uh, the blue line 50 day moving average and the green line is 100 day moving average so only based on this i'll be uh, just uh, uh, giving my views on how the market will be for nifty so if nifty see the closing is good 15900 and the 900 will be the uh, you can say as pivot point for tomorrow so if it uh, manages to stay above then you can expect it to uh, move towards the psychological level of 16000 so this is the view for nifty and let's see for uh, other stocks like uh, uh, if you are just a beginner go always go with index stock index that is the top uh, 10 or 15 stocks which will uh, move the market like line infosys like that and you can uh, at least if you follow uh, each and every one if you are able to follow 15 to 20 stocks will be very good because from this we will be able to uh, take around two to uh, three positions for intraday uh, because you cannot expect every stock to give opportunity in the next session all based on the movement okay so let's see first for reliance reliance if you see today it's a closing you can see based on the daily chart it is little bit weak we can see here that the blue line is the 50 day moving average and that line was 2098 so that was the 50 day moving average and uh, for the last two session it has been trading below this okay so you can make a mark that this line is trading weak so the current trend for the next two to three session uh, as long as it stays below 2098 that it is 50 day moving average it's weak so weak means today if you see closing the closing rate was around 2080 and the yesterday's closing was around 2081 for 86 and the low was yesterday's low 2081 and uh, today the closing was almost near to that level okay so if uh, today's low if we see it is 2078 if it breaks uh, tomorrow and trade below we can expect it to move towards its recent low recent low means you can see the four or five uh, trading session before the low was around 2066 Okay, so there are possibility that if reliance breaks and hold below at uh, today's low in tomorrow session, then we can expect it to move towards, slip towards this recent low, that four or five session before you can see this low, and uh, there is important level that is hundred day moving average around two thousand sixty four. So that that will act as a support. So the reliance is weak as per uh, the daily chart. We are finding out that the reliance is weak. and if uh, breaks below today's trading low of around 2078 we can expect it to move towards 2066 to 64 uh, that is it uh, 100 day moving average okay. so we got the, the trend for line so let's see for hdfc hdfc bank let's see so this is a, this is a nothing like big analysis it's only a simple analysis if you make a note and put in a note or excel it will be very useful for the next session because these are top 10 to 15 companies index companies and based on these stocks movement will be nifty so if you regularly follow these stocks 
will be able to find out how nifty will uh, perform tomorrow so if we see hdfc bank you can see here today so after staying around its 21 day moving average today the closing is above there so it is little bit uh, strong strength you can say it will close with strength so the 21 day moving average was around 1500 and today see the closing was around 1520 near to 1520 and this is close strong and tomorrow if it uh, just uh, holds above today's high today's high if you see it around uh, 1527 so that is today's high and if it moves above this level 1527 around then we can expect it to move towards this recent high from four or five session before it moved towards around uh, 1540 to 45 so i can expect tomorrow uh, that is hdfc bank to move uh, towards 1540 level if it breaks about today's high today's high is around 1527 okay uh, so this is for hdfc bank Now let's uh, do the same kind of analysis for HDFC. So these are in these are all index heavyweight stocks. So to to begin with, you can always uh, go with these stocks because this will be less volatile and the trend will be more or less uh, in line with Nifty. Right? Okay. And if you see this uh, HDFC, so it has been on around uh, consolidating around its hundred day moving average. So the 100-day moving average is a green uh, line. It's 100-day moving average, and the last two or three session it managed to hold above this level. So if tomorrow also it continues to move hold above above its 100-day moving average, that is 2,525, then we can expect it to move towards further high. Okay, further high means you can see in the chart the next major high is here. Around uh, there is a good uh, possibility that it may even go to two thousand five eighty five like that. Around forty uh, rupees we can expect. Okay, provided the volume is there. If you see today the lower side, the volume it was volume was better than yesterday. Okay, and tomorrow also the volume is uh, good. Then we can expect it to move at least towards two thousand five seventy five minimum. Five seventy to seventy five can expect. The reason is. See that here it has been on a consolidation mode around its 200 day moving average, and it closed above this level. For the it may it was able to close above for the last three days, and this uh, 200 day moving average will provide a support to HDFC. Right? So there is a possibility of a small breakout if it managed to today. If we see the closing, it is around 2540, and if managed to hold in positive. And move higher, then you can expect it to have a small break up on the upside. So this is for HDFC. Now let's see for Infosys. So Infosys after result. So today was the uh, yesterday evening the result was announced, and today it was almost a consolidation move. I think it uh, even though it closed positive from yesterday. Today, if you see the closing was fifteen seventy seven for Infosys. Today, just around four rupees it uh, closed positive. But if you see here, it is near to its recent high. Okay, so today, if you see the volume was good, see the low here, volume was good, and if managed to move higher, if you see this high, you can see here this high, around it comes to near today the closing is around fifteen eighty, and if you manage to hold above fifteen eighty to eighty seven range. Then you can expect it to make new high. Okay, so provided it should be, it should trade positive tomorrow. Today the closing was 1580, and around just five to six rupees. If you if it trades above that uh, from uh, today's closing, then you can expect it to make some new highs. So it's already near to its recent high. High made was around 1591, and today our new high 1597. So it may attempt to break this high. Because the reason is the volume is good. See the volume, it's positive volume, and if the trade uh, above this level, if the stock moves, then you can move. So this is for Infosys. Let's see for TCS. So TCS after the its result came uh, recently, so it is on on a negative mode. So it uh, break below its 21-day moving average. 
and uh, it went uh, recent low was around 3175 so today the closing was around its uh, 50 day moving average that was 3207 is the 50 day moving average and the closing was around uh, more or less that level okay so tomorrow if it continued to stay below this 50 day moving average that is 3206 then we can expect the stock to retest its recent low recent low was around 3175 that was registered day before yesterday and if we continue to stay below its uh, moving average that is 50 day moving average then once again it may retest its recent low that is 3175 So this is the view for ECS, and the next talk we'll be seeing for say Kotak Bank. So Kotak Bank, if you see, it is uh, caught between the moving average of twenty one and fifty, so it may more or less con expected to consolidate. If any stock is uh, caught between its moving averages, then until it breaks either this upside, if you see the upside is its 50-day moving average, it is 1758 around, and today the closing was 1750, and the and the lower side it's the uh, 21-day moving average of 1739. Okay, so uh, it has to break either this low or uh, above the uh, moving average. so until then the trend will be little bit neutral between this range so uh, tomorrow let's ignore the kotak bank and let's see for lnp so lnt today i think it was uh, more than around 4 percentage up with a good volume see the volume is very high almost uh, double of the average volume more than double i think so you can see the big volume bar here the stock also in line with uh, the volume it has moved up. so it is already moved up and the closing was around 1609 and if you see the high was around 1625 so it may as it has formed some uh, good uh, um, uh, long bar the last two days it has risen to see it has been rising almost uh, 90 rupees i think 90 rupees it has uh, went up the last two session so it is possibility that it may stay either volatile or it may stay within this candle okay so for a new high it has to move above its today's high that is 1625 so as it has already gone gone up for the last two session it may the more uh, it's expected to have a consolidation around this level okay so if it uh, goes down towards See this recent peak. It's fifteen eighty. It will be a good buy. Fifteen eighty to eighty five like that. So it will be like buy and dips. Okay. So it's already went up. So it is always better to do buy and dips. So let's see for in the stock deliver. So all I am uh, just uh, doing is for index heavyweights. So why I am taking the index heavyweights means it will be in line. The movement will be in line with Nifty. So easy to follow. That's why I'm selecting all index heavyweight stocks. And if you see here, here it was on any lever. So it has taken support in the last two days of its 50-day moving average. That is 2,406. But still, it is in red candle. That is weak, weak candle. And uh, the closing is around 2,412 today. And if tomorrow it continues to stay below its uh, That is 50 day moving average. See here, this is the blue line. 50 day moving average. Then it may it's expected to weaken further. Okay. So today's low was around 2,401. Today's low and the closing is 2,412. So if it breaks and falls below today's low, that is 2,401, then you can expect uh, it's further downside. But the stock already has been fallen. We see here two thousand five and almost hundred rupees fallen. So if it was, uh, if it didn't break this, uh, uh, that is today's low, then we can expect a small bounce back is expected. The reason is, uh, if it didn't uh, break today's low, that is two thousand four hundred one in tomorrow's session, and also the support will be around its fifty day moving average, that is two thousand four hundred seven around. So if it happens to hold, then we can expect a small bounce back is expected. 
but it may consolidate between these two ranges. That is, it is 21 day moving average, the tower red line, and it is uh, 50 day moving average, the blue line. It is expected to consolidate if it uh, fails to move below this level. Right? So let's see for say, Tata Motors. So it has been in a narrow range. The stock uh, fell sharply last week. And after that, it is taking uh, some support around uh, this level. This level is around 307. Today, the closing was around 310. So today's low, if you see, around 307. So if it, uh, the last three days low, if you see, around 30827. So if Tata uh, the motors didn't break below two days low. It is 307, 308, that level. Then I can expect uh, more or less it may move towards 313 to 315. Okay. Because the last few days it has been consolidating. And it is already fell, uh, it fell from 350 level. So it's not advisable to short. So it may consolidate or just a small bounce back is expected. Okay. And, uh, the stock we will see of SBI. So SBI, the movement for the last uh, three to four session has been a little bit narrow. Okay. So the uh, movement is a little bit narrow. So it's, uh, volume also, if you see, there is not much volume here. So there may not be any trading opportunity in the SBI. Because the candle size also low. The movement is low. And two, the volume is also low. So based on this, we cannot expect uh, much movement in SBI. So Tata still has been on a rising mode in the last uh, few sessions and it has broken its previous high. Previous high it made some uh, one month before I think and uh, the high was 12.30 and the closing today was 12.55. Okay, so it can be considered as buy on dips as long as it stays above this peak. The peak is around 1245, I think, 1245, okay, 1245 to 1245 uh, that level. So if managed to hold above this level, then it may move further, possible to move further. Okay. So these are the, some of the stocks, major uh, index stocks. So these are simple analysis. No one, I have not used any major indicators, so only I use daily chart, volumes, and uh, the moving averages. That is three moving averages, 21, 50, and 100. Sorry, uh, 21, 50, and 100. So the three averages I use. And if you track these, uh, each and every person can track at least 15 to 20 stocks. And uh, you can get three to four opportunities. You have to just draw, uh, track this stock. And you can just write in a note or Excel. I'll just show uh, how I just make a note. So here, this I have prepared for the next session, that is July 16. See, what I explained here, I have just written here. So Reliance, uh, we saw, it was weak below 2078 and expected target will be 2066. HDFC Bank, 1527 above and 1540. So likewise, you can make a note. And if you follow uh, a list of stock continuously, you'll be able to easily understand the particular stock trend. If you follow our lines continuously, assume that it is uh, follow, it is falling for four or five sessions, and suddenly it is unable to break the low. You can very easily assume it a uh, trend. So it may reverse the trend like that. So if you continue the same set of stock for at least uh, one month, I'm sure that you will be able to track the trend of these stocks. So the analysis is very simple. Just uh, select few stocks. So to begin with, go for uh, always top stocks because uh, it will follow the nifty trend and uh, just to use uh, daily chart volumes and moving averages and you can always use the uh, exe uh, that will be you can also get some levels in the charts there and you can also use that level. so hope you got some uh, information today
and thank you have a nice day